comes to street food, the municipality of Cordova of Mactan Island is one of the front runners with its well-known Laranga Bakasi or saltwater eel stew. This is a Filipino fish stew that originates from the central Visayas and has become a food tradition in Cordova bringing pride to the town and to the entire country, our beloved Philippines. Chef Sweetie of Slow Food Sugbo, Philippines. Today, I will be cooking the famous Cordova dish, well loved by the locals of Cebu and Mactan Island. The Larang Nga Bakasi. It is a very simple dish made mainly of some fresh spices, a souring agent, and of course, the fresh bakasi or the eel that we have personally caught fresh from the mud flats of the municipality of Cordova here in our Mactan Island. These are the ingredients of the very special dish that we will be cooking today. The main ingredient is of course the fresh eel or the bakase that we have personally caught in the mud flats of a small fishing community in Barangay Buwagsong, in the municipality of Cordova, Mactan Island. Another ingredient would be this katmon fruit. This will act as a souring agent for this sour dish that we will be cooking. Another would be the black beans. This will act as a flavoring agent to the dish. And of course, our spring onion. We have tomatoes, onion, garlic, and ginger. Katmon or Delinea philippinensis is an evergreen tree that belongs to the family of flowering plants. It grows in low to medium altitude and is endemic here in our country, the Philippines. The leaves are leathery and has a white showy flowers with reddish pestles and stamens resembling a gumamela. The fruits are edible and round and is quite fleshy. They are usually eaten when green and have a taste similar to green apple, a bit sour but very refreshing when eaten. It makes an excellent sauce or jam and is also used for flavoring or as a souring agent for any dish. Locals are also known to mix the acidic fruit juice with sugar or honey into a drink that takes the treat for cough and fever. The locals here in this municipality, they use this fruit as a souring agent for their soups, could it be pork, vegetables, and fish. Okay, this kind of fruit has plenty of nutritional value and it is so rich in phytochemicals that is good for our health. This kind of dish uh, will be tomato based. So we will cut the tomatoes in big chunks. The traditional larang, the souring agent, will be a tamarind. But this time, we'll be using this katmon, which is a part of the art of taste of the slow food movement. This is also very sour and will add to the flavor of the dish that we'll be cooking. Okay, so these are the spices, the fresh spices that we'll be using for this sour dish that we'll be cooking. The equivalent dish for this particular uh, native Cordova cuisine is the tumyam. Okay, a sour dish 
the tom yum of Thailand. We will now be sauteing our spices with a small amount of oil. First comes our onion. Traditionally, when cooking this larang, the eel shouldn't be sliced, so it goes whole. And it has to be washed properly but ungutted, okay? So the locals believe that the bile of the fish has medicinal properties. So this will be eaten whole, okay? So the taste would be a bit bitter because of the bile of the fish, but then uh, because of the belief that it has some medicinal properties, so the locals are so used to eating. Okay, so here it goes. Soaring agent that we add, the katmon, made the soup really sour and of course plus the sour, the natural sour taste of our tomatoes. Okay, so we're gonna be plating this. Our freshly cooked larang nga bakase, adored by locals of Cebu and Mactan Island, especially the men, for they believed of the aphrodisiac properties of the eel. 
that is abundant here in the mudflats of the coastal wetlands in Barangay, Bugwasong, Cordova Island of Mactan. Here, so proud to present to you the famous dish of Cordova, the Larang Abakase. From Cebu, Philippines to the rest of the world, 